Jed Moore just off the mat, uh, losing for fifth and sixth to RJ Pena. But uh, let's talk All American, yeah. fifth year. Jesse Dong, last night. Let's talk about that first off. Um, have you ever beaten Jesse? No, I'm actually uh, I'm like I was 0 and 5 going into the this tournament. I most recently lost to an ACC finals um, two weeks ago. Um, so we've kind of I've kind of had a big monkey on my back as far as that goes. You know, always wrestling him, always looking forward to wrestling him, but just never getting that win. Um, and it was nice to I guess finally get over that. And on top of that. Um, you know, claim the All-American status, so that was a uh, just a weight lift off my shoulders, and just to get both of those at once was huge for me. Um, did you guys wrestle? You went to Marion Pleasant. He went to Westerville North, not too far apart. Did you guys ever wrestle in high school? We never wrestled uh, competitively in high school um, in a match, but we had worked out worked out before. Um, you know, like Ohio State, Westerville North, his school um, in high school. So I had a good relationship with him before. He's a good guy, and. Uh, we kind of always known each other's style, always, you know, known of each other, and so, uh, but yeah, I mean, through college, it always kind of had that holding over me, so to get it when I counted was a great feeling. Having the double monkey off your back, you know, with, with beating him and that being your All-American round of 12 match, what's the feeling like? Uh, I've been asked a couple of times, I don't know how to describe it, I mean, it was just like a wave of emotion hits you, you know, it's just like... Everything you work so hard for, just kind of all hits you at once, kind of thing. It's uh, I guess I can't really describe it. I mean, it's kind of a, I don't know if to say, I don't know, I don't want to say outer outer body or anything like that. But it's just like, it's just a great feeling. So UVA, you know, a lot of people kind of you know dog on like Salzer. I was talking to Salzer last night. People dog on UVA. It's in the ACC. It's not in the Big Ten. A guy like you could have gone to the Big Ten. You know, you're not too far from Columbus. Yeah. You know, you could have gone to Indiana. Any of these places are pretty close to your house. Right. Why UVA? Um, a lot of it came down to just one of my visit there and uh, uh, our head coach there, Steve Garland, who was his uh, second year there at the time, and they just brought in a big recruiting class. And I really clicked well with the incoming class uh, that was ahead of me. Um, I like the idea of building towards something. You know, he kind of he's been building that program up ever since I've been there and a year before that as well. And it's just been nice to be a part of something that's every year has gotten better and better and better. And now it's starting to produce, you know, All-Americans and it's uh, in academics as well. I mean, it's a great academic school, um, beautiful area. I just, I, mean, I, I just thought it was a great fit for me. You know, uh, I just kind of fell in love with it pretty much. What's Clemson like, you know, having Clemson, Garland, Guys like that pushing your car, and you guys got a lean. You got a great staff there. Oh yeah. What would you say to a kid? You know, like maybe an Ohio kid. They seem to be recruit. Both your all Americans are Ohio kids. <laughs> yeah. You know, what would you say to a kid? You know, about University of Virginia if they want to look at it. Um, definitely come check it out. I mean, we like said. I mean, the addition of Nate Carr in there in the room has huge. Uh, he's a great different uh, angle just because I mean he's so competing. So he brings you know a kind of a fire and edge and you know. Lean national champion, Alice Clemson All American, Steve Garland, All American, all these guys, all of the guys are still rolling around and stuff. And Lean just coming back off of a knee surgery, so now he's back in the room rolling around with us. I mean, technically you can't get much better. Um, you know, all the guys in the room right now are hungry. It's really great atmosphere as far as um, on the mat. And I think how we live our lives off the mat too is huge. Um, you know, I think we have one of the most uh, kind of biased obviously but really close knit team and um, you know we, we all kind of do the right things and uh, all working towards a common goal so what's next but, uh, I have no idea I wish I knew so <laughs> um, I guess we'll find out soon enough right yeah have you ever had to give an interview after a tough loss like that no um, you're handling it pretty well I gotta give you a lot of credit yeah I was uh, a little nervous getting into it I was a little shaken up I mean obviously don't want to win but in I guess I'll just kind of, you know, let it soak in a little bit. And I mean, at this point, it's all over, so can't really dwell on it too much at this point, you know? So, you got what are you going to do? You got anything else for me, Jed? Uh, no, appreciate it. Um, go Ohio. <laughs>